Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you this fine day? Me? I am absolutely delightful, and I appreciate your concern. Today, a point of concern for anybody who hires people to do any writing for them. A lot of, uh, a lot of you have websites or services where you hire writers and authors uh, to provide content for you. And the one thing that you really have to be careful of is that the work that's being submitted to you by your contractors is original, is 100% original, because it would be devastatingly embarrassing to be accused of plagiarism online by posting something coming from an author who you hired that you thought was clean and clear and indeed was just uh, taking and paraphrasing or ripping off completely somebody else's work. A, it's a waste of your money. B, it's wrong. C, it would be hideously embarrassing. So today, some tips on making sure that your copy is your own. Before we dive into the world of plagiarism, a quick thank you to all of our Patreon sponsors. Dottotech is supported by the community which views us and subscribes to us through Patreon. So if you're interested in becoming a part of that community and ensuring that Dottotech continues healthy and hale, then I encourage you to visit our Patreon page, have a look and see if it's something that you would consider contributing to. Now, let us talk about the world of plagiarism. Of course, it is a, a, a terrible for university students and anybody writing papers to be accused of plagiarism. It is one of the one of the despicable acts, I suppose, of academia. But it does not uh, only, it's, it's not only distasteful in the world of academics, it's also tremendously distasteful in the online world. And if you are a content publisher, uh, chances are that you might uh, be augmenting your, uh, augmenting your content online uh, by hiring freelancers uh, using freelance services like Elance or Odesk or a variety of different places. And here you need to protect yourself to make sure that the copy and the content that you are posting on your site is, is original content, is what you're paying for. And there are a couple of ways that you can do that. And now, one popular way is using a service called Copyscape. Now, Copyscape does, uh, for five cents a, ch a search, they will go through and they will make sure that your content is clean. Now, the cool thing about Copyscape is it can plug right into your WordPress site as an API. So it can actually plug in and it can automatically index all of your different posts and all of your content and make sure there's no plagiarism there. And additionally, what Copyscape will do for you is it will go out and it will monitor uh, the net. And if it sees any of your copyright content being published somewhere else, it will give you a report back to you telling you that you might be the victim of somebody using your content. So it really protects you in those areas. Really for heavier content publishers, uh, working both sides of the fence. Now, personally, I use uh, a tool called Grammarly, which I've talked about a little bit in the past. I use Grammarly because I have terrible grammar and spelling when I type. <laughs> Anybody who's viewed my website finds typos. If you subscribe to my email, uh, you'd, you'll find that I have the odd typo. And I would have a lot more typos uh, with my correspondence were I to not, not be using Grammarly. Now, to be fair, I should... And maybe I will soon be at the point where I can actually hire a proper copy editor uh, who goes through all of my public correspondence and public documentation and makes sure that it is clear, concise, and without error. But until I can afford that, this tool is the one that I use because it's online, it's fast, and it really works well for me. But Grammarly does more than just check my grammar. Grammarly will also check and look for any issues uh, uh, of plagiarism. So let me show you how that might work. I'm going to jump over to my buddy Mike Vardy's site, and I'm just going to copy one of his posts at the Productivityist. If you if you don't uh, if you don't subscribe or you don't haven't visited Mike's site, he does a great job of describing all things productivity related, and he is one of my go-to sources. So I hope he doesn't mind me using his copy right now as a guinea pig for this particular little experiment. So I've just copied that uh, that blog post from his page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page or a new document in Grammarly. Now, when I open Grammarly, one of the tools that I have down here is plagiarism. I can turn off tur and turn on the plagiarism checker. So now what will happen is it'll take a little bit longer to process, but as well as going through and checking for grammar. And I apologize, Mike, if you're watching, because it might find some issues with your grammar. And I know 
as Mike is a very good editor, that all of his, all of these things that, uh, that uh, Grammarly is catching, he probably feels very comfortable with the grammar. And so I'm not going to make any comment at all about his, his overuse of passive voice. Sorry, Mike. But here is the key. Look here at the very bottom, 100% unoriginal. And you see everything is underlined in it. So if I click anywhere in the document, it tells me right away. Let's click. Oh, there it is. That it has found this 100% of the document is copied from this blog. Isn't that awesome? It caught the plagiarism right at the source. Now, if you're a student and you're citing sources from the web, you might legitimately be including unoriginal copy in your academic paper. In that case, look at what this does. It actually gives you proper uh, citation for MLA, APA, and Chicago citation methods uh, so that you can make sure that you properly cite your source if you just happen to have a small little snippet of content that you are indeed copying from the web. Copying 100% of the document, not cool. So Grammarly will allow you to not only check your grammar, but it will also go through and check all and check to make sure that you aren't plagiarizing. So Copyscape, Grammarly, they both do the same job. Copyscape will also check your content and make sure that nobody is finding it, is nobody else is using it. But Grammarly also does this. Look at this. They also allow you now with uh, with an upgraded service to send the document to a real proofreader so it'd have a real human being with real eyeballs on it and not just their automated process. So they're raising the bar again for proofreading and making it that much more effective. I hope you found this video today to be useful. If you have, please consider joining our community. We are supported by you, the, uh, by you, the, uh, the people who view these videos. And there's three different ways that you can participate. First is subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you see all of the videos as soon as they come down the pipe. And please join us in the, in the, in the, in the YouTube comments area. We're always having great conversations. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the world of plagiarism. Second, you can sign up for our newsletter. By signing up for our newsletter, you'll get a weekly digest of all of our different videos that we publish as well, you'll be notified in advance of any uh, webinars or courses that we're putting on. Now, I never charge for the courses, but they still sell out sometimes. So you want to make sure that you, that, you, uh, that you get your space if it is indeed a topic that you're interested in. And finally, finally, please consider becoming one of our patrons in Patreon, the crowdfunding site that helps us keep our doors open. We appreciate, I would certainly appreciate you taking a look and then considering whether or not it is something that you want to participate in. Regardless of whether or not you want to participate in that or not, I'm glad that you participated in watching this video today. I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.